Former First Lady Michelle Obama is not holding back in a video just released which criticizes President Trump on his approach to the coronavirus and makes a passionate case for Joe Biden and his approach. That's right. Miss Obama urging Americans to vote for Biden like, quote, your lives depend on it. Let's go to MJ Lee. She has more on this video. It is interesting because she, remember when, like in those big speeches, she never said Trump's name. She just said, we go high yeah. when they go low, et cetera. And she doesn't love politics, but she is digging in on this one. That's right. I mean, if we could get a sign that we are just four weeks out from the election, and it really is uh, game time for the Biden campaign, uh, this taped message from former First Lady Michelle Obama, it is direct to camera. It is almost 24 minutes long, and it really is an urgent plea to the American people to get out and vote, not just for anyone, but of course for Joe Biden, uh, and making the case uh, in not mincing her words at all uh, against President Trump and the state of the country uh, under President Trump. Remember, uh, the former first lady is one of the most popular and well-known national Democrats in the country. And when she gave that speech at the Democratic National Convention, it was one of the most memorable speeches uh, of the week. Uh, I just want you to take a listen uh, to a part of her speech where she talks about chaos in the country and a president who she says isn't up to the job. Believe it or not, the election is right around the corner. Votes are already being cast. And if you're still deciding who to vote for or whether to vote at all, I wanted to take a moment to remind you what's at stake and to urge you to make a plan to vote today. Because let's be honest, right now our country is in chaos because of a president who isn't up to the job. And if we want to regain any kind of stability We've got to ensure that every eligible voter is informed and engaged in this election because the stakes are on display every day, not just in the headlines, but in our families. If you're a parent like me, you're feeling the consequences of this president's failure to take this pandemic seriously from his constant downplaying of the importance of masks and social distancing to his relentless pressure on schools to open without offering a clear plan or meaningful support to keep students and teachers safe. Look, our daughters are in college now, and luckily they're taking classes from home this semester. But in just a few weeks since schools have resumed, many of their friends who return to campus have either tested positive or are living with someone who has. Yeah, the former first lady also addressed the racial tensions in the country and said that under President Trump, the, con the country will continue to spiral out of control. Here's a little bit more from her speech. So I want to appeal for some empathy here, too. I want everyone who is still undecided to think about all those folks like me and my ancestors the moms and dads who work their fingers to the bone to raise their kids right, the teenagers who wear hoodies while working hard to get their diplomas, the millions of folks who look like me and fought and died and toiled as slaves and soldiers and laborers to help build this country. Put yourselves in our shoes for just a moment. Imagine how it feels to wake up every day and do your very best to uphold the values that this country claims to hold dear. Truth, honor, decency, only to have those efforts met by scorn, not just by your fellow citizens, but by a sitting president. Imagine how it feels to have suspicion cast on you from the day you were born simply because of the hue of your skin. To walk around your own country scared that someone's unjustified fear of you could put you in harm's way. Terrified of what four more years of this kind of division might mean for the safety of you and those you love. Living with the knowledge that no matter how hard we try, how much good we do in the world, there will be far too many who will never see our humanity, who will project on us 
their own fears of retribution for centuries of injustice and thus only see us as a threat to be restrained. And we know what happens next. A racial slur from a passing car, a job promotion that never comes, a routine traffic stop gone wrong, maybe a knee to the neck. Racism, fear, division. These are powerful weapons and they can destroy this nation if we don't deal with them head on. So I wanna ask every single American, no matter what party you normally vote for, to please take a moment to pause, click off the news, think about how you felt over these last four years, how quickly things have turned, and then think about what the next four years could mean for our country's future. The message we will send to our children about who we are and what we truly value. Think about what would possibly compel you to accept this level of chaos, violence, and confusion under this president and be willing to watch our country continue to spiral out of control. Because we can no longer pretend that we don't know exactly who and what this president stands for. Search your hearts and your conscience, and then vote for Joe Biden like your lives depend on it. 